All right, guys, welcome to our uh, last lecture, which is going to be on support services. This is a short lecture um, just to finish this up. So um, from a standpoint of kind of uh, looking at the whole student athlete, we're, we're trying to do a kind of holistic uh, deal. We're trying to have resources available to them at all levels. Um, so, you know, from a physical standpoint, we've got strength and conditioning, nutrition, sports med. From a mental standpoint, we've got sports psychology. We've got academic services. Um, from a spiritual side, we've got religion, uh, religious people, or religious services, um, you know, meditation options. And then from a social and emotional resources, we've got mental health uh, people on campuses. And again, this varies a lot, guys. You know, at a Division One uh, institution, you know, th this might be, um, you know, dealt with from, uh, you know, millions of dollars a year to just, you know, thousands of dollars a year at a small institution. Um, sports medicine obviously is a huge deal. Um, lots of athletes to treat. Um, these athletes are seen with value, and so having them healthy is important. Um, so you're going to have trainers, physicians, surgeons, therapists. You've got people that help manage the day-to-day -day type operations, whether it be for practice or post-practice treatment. Um, and and it, it starts to, to drain on resources because you have salaries that you have to pay for all these people. Um, you've got equipment you have to buy. Then you have insurance claims, which are um, extremely high. And so, you know, like I said, you, you, you have millions of dollars spent on this at the D1 level where, you know, just thousands of dollars spent at a D3 or an AI level. Um, you know, facility management has become a huge deal. It's an arms race, guys, meaning that people are trying to outspend other people to have the nicer stuff to attract students. Um, and it starts to become an issue. Or is it is it justifiable? Um you know, liability is a huge issue. Um, you know, where do you spend money on, um, you know, trying to manage risk? Um, whose responsibility is it to, to manage risk? Um, and, and keep in mind that um, ultimately the, uh, you know, student athletes are responsible for their own health insurance or their lack of health insurance. Uh, and so it starts to, you know, I guess question, is this a, uh, a legitimate way to do this? Who's ultimately responsible for these students um, getting injured? Uh, five, prime example is, uh, is Tua getting injured at Alabama. And so, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of things going on with this is going to continue to change in the future. Um, becoming more prevalent now, even at smaller schools, is, is the idea of, of managing digital media. Um, you know, is it is it external? Is it is it shown to the public? Is it outsourced or is it internal? Um, you know, at a big place with with video boards, they're they're trained with you know in dactonics type equipment. They're trained to do this stuff. Um, they're trained to create um, media that's put out on social media. You know, then from an internal type deal, you know, you've got all the internal video that goes into every sport. So you've got people who just manage huddle accounts that record practice, that have practice ready for coaches, they're ready for players. And again, that's a full time job um, that is, you know, usually um, for somebody that's a paid position at a big university, at a smaller university, it might fall on a student volunteer, a GA. Um, or even an assistant coach. Then you've got equipment contracts. Obviously, this is again another arms race. This is where people are trying to attract students. And a lot of times it's a value and kind contract, meaning that um, there's not a whole lot of money changing hands. It's basically um, they're getting product in exchange for value uh, or getting discounts on equipment, um, which leads to a whole nother deal of managing equipment. 
You know, and again, at a big university, it's a must that you have a full-time staff of people who are just responsible for loading up those trucks, getting on the road. Um, at smaller schools, they're going to, you know, in, in loose, you know, student managers. And the responsibilities are going to vary a lot depending on, um, on what type of school it is. So just a little bit of the behind-the-scenes stuff. Let's finish up the week strong.